Riding smaller capacity machines. A question that comes up from time to time is how to ride a smaller capacity machine compared to a larger one, for example a 400 or a 600 against a 1000. To answer this it's always good to have an understanding what each machine is good or better at than other machines. Each machine will require a different riding technique. Generally smaller machines are more nimble, so changing direction, braking and cornering are the strong suits. So utilising these attributes at the correct time is critical. Other advantages lower powered machines have is the ability to get to and use full power earlier, where large more powerful machines have to be more progressive to lay down the power. Even with electronics this restricts the power at this critical time. Bigger machines even though they are generally heavier have more power so acceleration and speed are their bonus areas. Thus if you're riding say a 600 and following a 1000, trying to out drag it down the straight is doomed to failure, it will simply pull away from you and outpower you. If it comes down to overtaking a larger machine, smaller, lighter machines can turn better. So you have to make the best out of the corners, braking later, carrying slightly more corner speed into and around the corner to slingshot you out onto the straight, then closing the gap down the thousands have created on the straight. A combination of higher corner speed and using any slipstream down the straight to get as close as possible as the braking area approaches. Then you're in the best position to make a pass because your advantage, your lighter weight, helps reduce your braking distance. The type of corner, i.e. hairpins, tight bends, chicanes etc. all need a different approach. Obviously there's limitations to how fast you can go around any corner. If a more powerful larger machine tries to carry too much corner speed, it ends up carrying a huge angle of lean for too long and increases the time before it can get back to full throttle at the exit, ruining its main advantage. On tighter corners the larger more powerful machines prefer to arrive at the corner, turn tighter and square it off as much as possible, obviously corner dependent, and then use the power advantage out the corner onto the straight. This slightly different approach and line around some corners makes them vulnerable as they invariably lose time and speed mid corner. On a smaller machine if you're close enough, carrying enough mid corner pace, you can make a pass and disturb the thousands exit, denying what it can do best out the corner. This sort of pass obviously demands 100% commitment, but it outlines that hard tactical riding is required to maximise what a small capacity machine can do. If you simply follow a thousand into and around a corner, there's only ever going to be one winner.